John Real Casemiro stops Alani Tete in the third round in what I consider to be an upset and I definitely didn't see this coming. Casemiro is a fighter who I've seen before. I saw he fought, was it a Thai fighter or a Chinese fighter on one of top rank shows years ago now. Must be four or five years ago. I also seen his fight against Charlie Edwards when he knocked Edwards out in the 10th round. Casemiro always struck me as being a, a decent puncher. But, you know, nothing to write home about in terms of skill level. So, had the power, which you don't often see at these lightweights, but never really, you know, struck me as being anything to write home about. Whereas Tete, I've seen a lot of his fights. I think the first time I ever saw Tete was his fight against Paul Butler. And he looked fantastic in that fight. You know, I've seen his fight against Villanuevas about two years ago. I also seen that 10 second knockout he had last year. I've seen most of Tete's fights. Now, Zelani Tete is a five foot nine bantam weight. Very, very, very tall, very rangy for the weight. And Tete, when he is explosive in his fights, he gets them out of there quick. But a lot of time with Tete, he just likes to do enough to win. And kind of they were. Saying similarities to Rigondeaux, because Rigondeaux obviously fighting for a WBA bantamweight title in the next few weeks, they were saying maybe should Tete come through this fight, would he face Rigondeaux? And the first thing Barry Jones said, well, that would be a stinker because they're both quite negative and it'd be just a chess match. Now, the first two rounds of this fight, nothing really happened. You know, Casemiro, he looked, oh, he looked dangerous. You know, when you saw him kind of go in for attacks, he did look dangerous. He wasn't fully committing to the attacks, but he definitely looked he looked dangerous in the attacks. But Tete, you got the impression that he knew what was going on. He was in control, and he was just winning from the outside, boxing at long range with his jab, and that was that. So going into the third round, I think it was a right hook that landed from Casemiro and put Tete down, and he was hurt. He was hurt bad from that hook. And so much so that I actually thought the referee was going to stop it after the first knockdown because Tete's legs looked completely gone. He looked like he could barely stand. And when the action resumed, basically that's what happened. He could barely stand. So he had his wits about him to hold. But then there was a flurry from Casemiro. And a lot of the shots, to be fair, were getting blocked or they were missing. And it wasn't even, I don't think, a punch that put Tete down for the second knockdown. I think it was just that basically the legs just hadn't fully recovered so he just ended up falling down <clears throat> excuse me he just ended up falling down just because his legs weren't there and obviously he got back up again I thought again the referee would stop it but he didn't he let the fight go on but another flurry from Casemiro and that was all she wrote he's now the WBO bantamweight champion and I would consider this fight an upset because I I like Zilani Tete I've rated him for a while I thought he was a decent fighter I would have loved to have seen him versus Ryan Burnett I always favoured Tete in that fight if it had ever happened so I was pretty surprised for him to lose to Casemiro who I've seen before I've never been you know mad keen on the guy in terms of you know his ability you know he's definitely a good puncher but um, yeah definitely shocked with this result didn't see this coming and um, you know it was it was interesting because with Tete a lot of his fights they can be born you know what he does he, he does enough to win he, he does enough to win win rounds on the outside with his jab doesn't really commit and yeah this was against the run of play sort of in this fight one shot put Tede down never recovered and he got taken out so that was my thoughts on this uh, Casemiro is now as I said the WBO bantamweight champion we all know Inoue would be kind of well, he is the number one bantamweight in the world so Casemiro versus Inoue or Rigondeaux, should he come through his next fight? Who knows? But uh, yeah, Casemiro, interesting addition to the bantamweight division. So let me know what you think down below. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe for new, of course. And as always, I will talk to you after.